Okay, so one of the biggest videos that many of you watched, which was December of last year that I shot, was five best industries for you to make a million dollars in. And the feedback I was getting, especially right now during this coronavirus, especially during this pandemic, especially during this lockdown, where the economy looked like it was going to reopen again. And then based on riots, based on COVID testing popping up again and having a lot of people test positive again, the economy is locking back down. And people are asking right now, do I stay in my current career? Do I make a change? So in this video, I'm gonna share with you three signs to help you understand why you should consider a career change or a different business. What's cracking, everybody? Money Smart Guy, Matt Zapala here, hailing to you from Oak Brook, Illinois, a direct west suburb here in downtown Chicago, home of the Money Smart Movement team and home of the Seven Figure Squad YouTube channel. And uh, one of the things that I've been getting a lot of questions around are how do you know it's time to make a change? How do you know it's time to say, you know what, make a shift, maybe, maybe pivot, maybe adapt? My time in the Marine Corps, eight years spending in the Marine Corps, I thought I was gonna be a lifer. I thought, man, I'm gonna spend 20 years in the Marine Corps, and next thing you know, my circumstances change. I had a family, I had kids, I really figured out I don't wanna be away, deployed away from those I love and care about, and so I decided to make different shifts in my thought process of how I make money. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you possibly some things that make you consider why you should consider career change. Number one, if you're already currently overworked, you're currently overwhelmed, you're currently underpaid, you should consider a career change. Number two, the uncertainty of the job market, the uncertainty of your current business and instability of your current business. And number three, are you physically unhealthy? Are you in a position of being mentally unstable? You're here nor you're there, you're fighting depression, you're fighting anxiety, you're not pre in a present state, and also you're emotionally distant. You're checked out, you're burnt out. These might be some signs of why you should probably consider a career change. And here's some data. Here's some data possibly why you're feeling that way. Well, number one, the, the, the United States has the greatest drop in GDP, the gross domestic product, the biggest drop in the second quarter of 2020, negative 32.9% drop. Listen, if a picture can tell a thousand words, take a look at this picture. You saw the economy humming along, humming along. 2015, 2016, 2017, it was humming along. Next thing you know, 2018, 2019, boom! 2020, drop. Why? Coronavirus, lockdown, economy shutdown. It says here, a 32.9% decline in GDP has no historic precedence in the United States. In other words, what we just experienced, what you and I just experienced here in the first six months of 2020 has never, ever happened before historically speaking in the united states there's nothing to compare it to and we're looking at uh, it says here as difficult as the second quarter was we aren't out of the woods while the country began to open up in may and june an increase of covid 19 cases has caused many locations to reimpose stay-at-home orders or otherwise curtail economic activity i can't tell you how many times i go to the mall i go to the restaurant i go to i go to uh, uh, uh places where a lot of people used to hang out at um, as much as I dislike traffic, I'm starting to miss it. I'm going down the road like, where is everybody? And some of you guys are probably saying, no, I don't miss traffic. But I'm, I'm saying, listen, if our economy is to grow, people need to work and people need to buy. People need to shop. People need to spend. People need to invest. People need to build. And that is not what's happening right now. Another crazy part of the statistic is that more people, for some reason, are saving now more than ever, 25.7% higher and a lot of people say you know what instead of spending my cash i'm hoarding my cash because i don't know what's going to happen next so if that's you you're wondering man is that a sign for me to consider career change is my financial life giving me anxiety is my financial circumstances giving me depression is it giving me emotional and translating to physical discomfort that might be a great sign it's time for a career change the second part about this data here is 54 million people filed for unemployment 54 million people filed unemployment. Here's the thing, the American working class is approximately 155, 157 million people in America. This is approximately one third of America's workforce has filed for unemployment. So when you look, when you look at this data of 54 million people filing for unemployment, this data is showing that there's also consecutive weeks. At 54 million people that filed for unemployment, the number of people that filed for unemployment during the course of the pandemic is greater than the population of South Korea, which has approximately 51 million people. And based on this unemployment, one million people have filed for unemployment for 19 consecutive weeks. Again, that has never ever happened in the history of the United States. So you and I are facing some very unprecedented times. By the way, I wanna know what you guys are thinking. Drop it in the comment section below. Where you are right now in your finances? Where you at right now in your career? Where are you at right now in terms of living conditions? I'm, I'm just curious. 
Drop it in the comment section below. I might feature you in my next episode, but if you haven't done so already and you want more videos like this to get you to think like a millionaire, strategize like a millionaire, and become a millionaire, yes, even in spite of these times, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit notification to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. All right, now let's get back to this data. The most impacted age group of unemployment there are people that ages between 16 and 34 years old. Do you remember your first job at 15, 16, 17 years old? I remember my first job. Uh, I was a bicycle messenger downtown. Yes, yeah, this was the era before fax machines and email and, okay, I'm dating myself. But think about this right now. One of the jobs I got out the Marine Corps to make ends meet as I launched my business in the insurance industry was a server at Olive Garden. And right now, it's hard pressed to get jobs to serve, serve at Olive Garden to make a living type of wage. Whatever I was about to give, thank God it's there. But I remember it's not as consistent right now as it was when I got at the Marine Corps in 1999, 2000 to begin my business. So the ones most impacted the most in terms of this pandemic, this lockdown, are those workers, those folks between 16 and 35 years old. Why? Because we need workers to create customers. But if we don't have workers, we don't have enough customers. If we don't have customers, what's the reason for a business to hire workers? So this whole cycle of being unemployed, it's not healthy. It's causing people to slip into things that they never thought of. And that's why it's a sign for you to consider a potential career change or a different business to get involved. And some of you ask, well, what industry should I consider? What business or career should I start learning about? Well, let's take a look. The industry's most impact, let's take, let's take a look at this graph. Okay, let's take a look at this graph, all right? The, the industry, that is most affected by the unemployment rate is the leisure and hospitality industry at 28.9%. At 28.9%. So in other words, you're working for a hotel, you're working for a restaurant, you're working for a casino, you're working for a convention center. All these jobs, they not only do it, but the jobs that support it, massively affected. The greatest affected. Matter of fact, we had to cancel our convention. According to this video, we had to cancel our convention. Our company was, was uh, uh, renting out the MGM Grand Arena. We're expecting 12,000 people to fill the arena. At our, at, our, at our annual convention. We had to cancel that due to, co to, to COVID to pivot into doing it virtually, to doing it online. But we would have loved, we would have loved to spend the money at the MGM Grand Arena. Our team, our company, our guys love getting together and competing and enjoying this experience of entrepreneurship together. And to have that not be connected because of this COVID crisis, for people not to be connecting during this COVID crisis, the next best thing we can do is online virtually. Well, this industry is getting impacted. The leisure and hospitality is majorly set aside based on this unemployment. Let's take another look at these other industries. Look at transportation utilities. Look at information. Look at wholesale and retail. I mean, people are, are going to the malls, but only 10 to a store, 15 to a store. All these different lines are lining up for people to get into a store because they have to practice social distancing and to make sure that they're abiding by the, the, the masks and all that stuff. Construction, manufacturing, education, health service, teachers, doctors, nurses. Listen, a lot of these guys are putting their lives online because of this coronavirus. And a lot of these folks are being affected by unemployment. No, let's think about the airlines. You know, we've been reluctantly traveling on, on airplanes. And I'm telling you, when, when we're traveling on the airplane, we went to Palm Beach, Florida for our, 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 our leadership retreat. And the, the brand new first class is no longer first class. I mean, first class, all the seats were taken. But the brand new first class now is economy because nobody is in economy. We have like three, four rows to ourselves. So think about that real quick. If the airlines aren't filling up their airplanes and bringing people and transporting people all across America and 80, 90% of the customers are no longer flying, what is going to happen to the airline industry? The mechanics, the pilots, the flight attendants, the ground crew, the hangars, the, 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 the catering companies that support it, the fuel companies, so many triggering careers and business are affected because many people just aren't traveling today. Let's take a look at TSA numbers. The TSA airline said, listen, in 2019, in March of 2019, over 2 million people are flying. And because of the beginning of the pandemic, less than that number from year to year started to appear in the TSA numbers. Well, let's take a look at April 14th. Over 2 million people are flying, but pandemic, lockdown, only 84,000 people were flying. How does that affect the airlines? How does it affect all the supporting businesses and jobs and careers that support the airline and travel industry? Massive hit in finances. That's what it means. So if you're looking for an industry 
that is the least most affected by unemployment, by COVID, by the lockdown, check out this industry. It is what? The financial services industry. Compared to 28.9% in leisure and hospitality, financial services only at 5.1% affected by unemployment. Why? Not only is it an essential type of career, an essential type of business, but also it can be done in the convenience and safety of one's home or office. It's a big reason why our guys are experiencing massive growth during this time frame. And people say, really, Matt? Are really people considering financial services? Are really people considering insurance? Yes, let's take a look at this article. Over 80 million plus people are considering life insurance because now, because of the pandemic, now because of this threat on one's life, now people are now considering their mortality. Now people are considering, what if, what if this stuff happens? And the big reason why people buy insurance is because of uncertainty, anxiety, the what ifs. Fear sharpens listening. And when people are listening and the message is being heard and being read and being studied, people are considering this career field of the financial services industry because why? No matter what happens, people still need money. People still need currency. So I don't know what is it that you currently do. I don't know if uh, you were in the Marine Corps like I was in the military. I don't know if you were a Jiffy Lou Hood technician like I was. I don't know if you were um, a lifeguard like I was. I don't know if you were a server like I was or a teacher, doctor, dentist, whatever the case may be. But if one of these signs are sending you flags that finally now you're supposed to pay attention, consider these things. Don't consider yourself called out, okay? That's probably one of the worst things. Well, you know, I, I got all this college and education. I got all this experience. You expect me to just to cut loose and give it all up? Listen, I'm not telling you that. All I'm telling you is what the data is showing that potentially you should be considering a career or a business that is the least effective. Because would it be safe to say that if there's another pandemic, is there, if there's something else that breaks out, what is the playbook that America remembers during a pandemic? The playbook that America remembers is shut down the economy, send people home. That's the playbook. And by the way, people aren't going to forget that playbook. The politicians, regardless of Republican or Democrat, whatever third party is in the presidency in Congress, they're not going to forget this current playbook. And so if you feel that you've been called out, here are three different ways to respond to this video. Number one, you're bitter, you're annoyed, you shut down, you're mad, screw this guy, he's rich, screw this guy, I don't like his haircut, I don't like his face, I don't like his channel, da 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 scam, this, bloom, bloom, whatever. Whatever's going through your mind, that's you. And by the way, does that serve you? Does that help you? You blaming and being angry at me by watching the video. By the way, congratulations if you're still watching this video. But if you're still watching this video and say, you know what, I'm bitter, I'm annoyed, how does that help you? How does that help you grow? How does it help you pay your bills? But guess what? Knock yourself out. Or the second way to respond is this. You say, you know what, this guy may be speaking a little bit of truth to me. And based on this truth, you know, I don't like what the data is showing, but it's the truth. It's what the data is showing, that's my reality. It's what the, the data is showing, and guess what? By the way, earlier this morning, I got a text message from a person who was delaying, delaying, delaying a change in their career. Everything was good. I want to spend time with my kids. Da 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 da. Boom, sends me a text this morning. I just got laid off. Now I'm freaked out. So listen, it's not that you shouldn't spend time with your kids, but don't let your kids or your current circumstances be an excuse why you can't adapt, pivot, or at least do some research. And maybe you're open to eventually starting to change because here's the thing too, and I hope that you're quick about that because the reality of these industries, the reality of the government, the reality of the banks and the financial and the economy, it's probably gonna change faster than you were expecting it to change. So I hope very quickly that you're open to the truth, that you're open to doing more research, and eventually are open to making a move. Adapt and pivot, which is my third point. Time to play offense. We got a guest speaker at the recording of this video that just confirmed to come to our audience. You know, uh, sometimes people call him the Secretary of uh, Defense. Listen, maybe you need to be a Secretary of Offense. I don't know about you, but uh, I've been sick and tired, I've been sick and tired when life has beat me up, that I was sitting here in my situation that I have zero control over. Well, actually, you do. You may not like the reality, you may not like the decision you have to make, but guess what? You gotta play offense and you gotta adapt you got to pivot. You got to move. I'm reminded of a, of, of a friend of ours, Dean Mason, one of our business partners, friend of John Mason. 
His younger brother, John Mason, the last four months with us, he's made over $400,000 the last four months. That's correct. The last four months, he's made $400,000 the last four months, not for the year, but for the last four months in the insurance industry. And, and I remember Dean Mason was saying, all of his friends, because he's a DJ, and uh, 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 Dean Mason was being recruited and, 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 and being put on cruise ships uh, to, to be the headline DJ. Uh, Fernanda, his significant other, was there with him as the manager and his partner. Boom, boom, excited, filling up cruise liners with his parties all over the world. Top 50 DJ in the entire world. By the way, here's one of his songs. <laughs> Anyway, he said, you know what? We went, we went on a trip to Europe and he had a heart to heart conversation with his younger brother, John. And says, you know, bro, I think you need to, I think you need to change. You need to adapt. Do you like hanging around people that all they are is high and drunk and partied hot all the time and, and going to bed at six, seven o'clock in the morning and do it all over again? Do you want that type of lifestyle? I don't know, be DJing is fun, but do you really want to have that lifestyle and ride that lifestyle all the way into the sunset? Is that you? You're gonna be 40 someday. You're gonna be 50 one day. You're gonna be 60. Do you, do you want to be a 60 year old DJ, and that's the way you make your money? And Dean says, No, I don't want to make that. I don't want to make that type of money at that age. I think I need to make, make a change now. So guess what he did? He made a change. He got involved in the insurance industry. He pivoted. He adapted. It may not be your situation, but it was his situation. It may not be your choice, but it was his choice. And he he made a move. And everybody was laughing at him. Ha ha ha! You became an insurance salesman. You became an insurance. Uh, a, a person in that industry while well, everybody's having a good time everybody's having a blast everybody's pointing fingers at him we're having fun and you're not so how do you know he's not having fun but anyway fast forward a year later pandemic happens shutdown happens lockdown happens no clubs are on right now no cruise ships are throwing parties right now and guess what he made a hundred thousand dollars in the comfort and safety and convenience of his home or office while everybody's still scrounging putting together two nickels of rub so the question for you is, are you willing to play offense? Are you willing to adapt? Are you willing to work with urgency, just like our good friend Dean Mason was willing to work with urgency? See, if he was able to do it, and many others that we've mentored and coached are able to do it, why can't you? You've got to ask yourself those type of questions. So as I wrap up this video, the next wave of multi-multi-millionaires are being birthed at this very moment. You've got to understand that. I said this in 2008-2009 in a video, on, on, uh, actually on TV, on WGN TV. It's to tip number four, practicing prudence, something that, uh, that's the big lesson in all of this, right? right. The tortoise always wins, you know, uh, forget the pie in the sky returns, forget trying to chase the double digit returns, nothing beats saving money on a consistent, committed basis. Right now you're buying real estate cheap, you're buying stock cheap, hey, this is the opportunity. Millionaires right now are being made, all right, you got a free financial seminar. I said the seeds of the next wave of multimillionaires are being birthed. I said that in 08, 09 when I wasn't a multimillionaire. Well, guess what? I decided to adopt, change, adapt, pivot. And guess what happened to my wife and I? In five years, my wife and I made $5.2 million. Since this lockdown, we're over $800,000 of income since this lockdown happened. Why? Because we ad adopted a new procedure adapted to change. We use Zoom, we use virtual conference, and it's not like we're, micro, you know, we're, we're scientists. It's not like we're, 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 we're doing something wildly crazy. We just learned how to adapt and pivot very quickly. We knew how to use and deploy technology. We used and deployed social media to our benefit. And people today are still thinking about insurance. People today are still thinking about saving for retirement. People still today are still, are still thinking about a new, new career, new business. People today are still thinking about putting themselves in a better quality of life, and that's why we're here. And so this is a very old, very, uh, um, uh, uh, what was once considered a sleepy uh, industry. Listen, we're putting the fun and excitement into it. Maybe it's not experienced that before, but that's part about what's happening. It can happen to a lot of industries if you look at what industries are not being affected by lockdown shutter. Because I learned more about an industry. I learned more about a relationship, not during the good times. I learned more about a relationship. I learned more about a career. I learned more about an industry, not in the good times but in the bad times. I'm reminded of this Roman Stoic philosopher, can't say his name, but I, I do understand his quote. It says, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. How are you reacting to the situation? Are you playing the blame game? Or are you saying, you know what? Let me take a look at the mirror. Let me take my circumstance. Let me take this data. Let me take some of the signs. Let me make a move. Let me make change. Let me play offense. Not me play defense. Not, let me be reactive. But how do I play offense? Because usually the people that play offense that delivers a blow, delivers a punch, you, th those initiators are usually the ones that benefit the most. Let me know your thoughts. 
Let me know your ideas. Let me know your next moves are. Drop it in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, click subscribe. Hit notification to be alerted next time we upload our next video. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure to click like and follow the Money Smart Guy business page to watch more episodes like this, to not only to think like a millionaire, how to strategize like a millionaire, and obviously how to become a first generation cash flow millionaire. That could be you. I'm your Money Smart Guy in here, host of the Seven Figure Squad YouTube channel. Until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart and be money smart today.